Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Friday. I did not even finish my hair yet today. See, as soon as I start talking to you guys, Ruby's like, it's me, it's me she wants. Anyways, welcome to today. I had the craziest dream, you guys. I had the craziest dream and I have to tell you guys before I'm even ready because it was about you. It was about all of you guys. Not you, not you or you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so listen. Wait, I have to, Ruby, go. I have to tell them. This is so super important, you guys. Okay, so you guys know about hate. You guys all know about hate. Like, hate happens every single, single day. But last night I dreamed, what if the hate that we get is our own fault? What if the hate that you get is your own fault? What if when people hate on Gabby, it's her own fault? What do you think of that? What if it's your own fault? You're crazy. Crazy. You guys probably think I'm crazy too, but this is what I dreamed. I dreamed that we are all the same out there learning and trying and growing and becoming who we're meant to be. We're all growing, we're all learning. So the people who are hating are learning and growing. And yet we freak out when people hate on us, but then we hate back on them. And then all they learn is more hate. What if? The only way to change hate in your life is to change how you react to hate. What do you think of that? That's your job. That's my job, yeah. I don't answer comments. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't deal with the hate. But what do you think about that, Gabby? What if you change the way you deal with hate, change the hate in your life? No. You don't think so? Okay, so hear me out. What do you guys think? Do you think you could be responsible for the hate in you, your life? Um. Okay, so what if Somebody comes and says to you, oh my gosh, Sophie, you are holding on to the reins too hard. Too hard, Gab, Sophie. Well, it's kind of hard when you have a crazy pony. Yeah, so that's Sophie's reaction. My reaction when people say that to me is, you know what, we're learning, we're, we're growing, we're trying our best, this is what we know now, we're, we're. That's really your reaction. Yeah, I say other mean things, it's your ego. When you say mean things, when people say mean things to you, it's your ego. Do you know what your ego is? Your ego is your head, and your heart is your heart. So if we stopped reacting with our ego, and started reacting with our heart, and we treated everybody the way that we wanted them to treat us. <laughs> I got a message today that talked about how, so does, do your girls even know they're posting diagonals? I saw Sophie cantering around on the wrong diagonal so many times. Did you know that? Cantering. I know I'm not do that cantering. Oh, okay, well, I don't know. She said, If I canter on the wrong lead, it's because Finn's not picking up the right lead when I ask him to canter. And that's but we will keep trying. That's because you're not telling him to pick it up right. Yeah, and it's because she's learning. So then I get frustrated and I'm like, look at all her comments and then I'm like, Ugh. every comment that she said has been mean. And mean is... To me, mean is telling you everything that you do wrong. And then so I'm telling her what she's doing wrong. She's telling me what we're doing wrong and then I'm telling her what she's doing wrong. And then before you know it, there's a world of hate going on in this world. So what if we responded to hate in two different, in two different ways? One, what if it was just so, so, so hateful, like you suck, you're fat, you're too tall, you're hurting your horse, you're, awful, those kind of hate. Obviously that person is coming from a bad place and there's nothing that you can really do to change that person's mind. They're just there to say mean things and that is not a part of our journey. That is not a part of our journey, right Soph? To try and fix somebody else's hate. I'm just tired. I didn't get good sleep. <laughs> Sophie's like, get over with this. So yes, when there's nice. mean, mean hate like that, my, I think we should just pass it over. Just ignore it, just pass it over because in because then we're stopping it. We're stopping it by ignoring it. We're stopping it by not engaging in it. And then the other kind of hate, which is criticism. A lot of people believe that criticism is hate. A lot of people believe that criticism is helping. What if we changed how we reacted to it? So if you can't react kindly to it, just ignore it. But if you can react positively to hate, what would happen? What do you think would happen? I don't know this guy has a big brain. I don't know either, but I think we should try it, you guys. I dreamed that we are gonna try this. We're gonna try it for 30 days, not even 30 days, oh. three weeks. We're gonna go for the whole of January, you and me, and we're gonna try an experiment. So this is the experiment. Get ready for it, because it's gonna be hard. I have a really big ego, and I have a really big heart, and they're always fighting each other, and I wanna stop it. I wanna stop it. So here is what we're gonna do. If we, <laughs> what? Yeah, I know, but this is important. So what if we 
ignored the comments that we knew we couldn't say anything positive to. We just ignored them, blocked it out, and in doing so, we'll create a situation where there's no room for argument, there's no room for comments like that, so people will stop leaving them. Or, number two, if somebody leaves a criticism, and we feel with our ego that it was mean to say something like that because we can see the bigger picture even when they can't. What if we realize that we can see the bigger picture, that person can't, so we share with them the bigger picture. Hey, do you guys know how to do the right posting? What is it called? Can't do it correctly. Do you guys even know about correct leads? And I, instead of saying what I did say, because I did say, <laughs> I did say like a passive aggressive comment because my ego was like, oh, that's just so rude. <laughs> so what if instead I said, yep, they are, yep, Gabby's got it pretty much down and Sophie's still learning. What I if- I ignore it. it ignore the no ones way. that you know are, you can't talk kindly about. Ignore the ones that make you so mad you want to scream. Ignore those ones because you're not going to be able to to answer properly. And then the ones that are easier to comment kindly. How about we try it? How about we try it, you guys? So let's try a couple and see if we can get it. Sophie, you are always spending money. Well, I have money. Yeah, she could say that, but then that would probably make the person mad. But she could say... And Sophie's really good at this stuff, you guys. She could say, I know. She could say, I know, it's terrible. I love spending money, it's such a problem. I need to work on oh, that. it's not a problem. <laughs> I love my stuff. <laughs> I know. She could say that too. Usually when, you re when, usually when you react to criticism with your heart and with your soul and with your genuine self, it diffuses the situation. So that's all I'm suggesting we do. Okay, do another one. All right, let's do another one. Um, Sophie, you need to walk away from the food. Like you are <laughs> ignored. <laughs> ignored. Very good. Just ignored. ignored. Right. If it hurts your ego Just so much, ignore it. But if it doesn't hurt your ego and you can react from a place in your heart and say, man, I love my food it is the hardest thing. <laughs> it is the best thing ever. Yeah. Like Sophie loves food and Sam loves food and that is the way God made them and they're working and they're trying and she knows that and it just needs to be enough that she knows that she's working on it and she knows she's trying. It doesn't, she doesn't need to tell other people what's happening. Do all she needs to do, pickles? all she needs to, oh, I want pickles I want too. Pickles. All she needs to do is be kind back even when people are being critical because we have to remember that the people that are being critical the people that are are being hateful are learning just like we are learning with our writing they're learning about how to interact in a social situation from a place from your heart or and not from your ego it. yeah or the people yeah like but you're yeah, but anyways, I think we should try it. You guys, I think we should try it. Let's try it. Okay, so that's it. That's all you have to do. If somebody is super hateful and you just can't go there with them and you feel like you have to explain everything, ignore. Just ignore that comment. If you feel like you could help someone by explaining something kindly or just coming from a place from your heart, then try that. I think I'm going to end up with no comments on the in the comment section. You probably are. It was easier in my dream. This all made so much more sense in my dream. I, I'm butchering it, but that's what I think we should do. For the month of January, for the month of January, and I'll do it, and I'll go in the comments, and I'll help you guys do it. Like, I will do exactly what I just did with Sophie, and I'll be like, or we could say blah, 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 and I'll help you guys. Did you think I was being mean to you? Well, it's like, a pretend mean thing yeah but what if no. I didn't know that that was mean because if what if you said that to me it wouldn't feel mean what if you think it's mean but I don't think it's mean let me do unto you okay you are so fat hey <laughs> I'm <just> joking. <gasps> hey man I'm working on it I'm not a man I know but anyways yeah like that that is what yeah. like Obviously, people abusing you is not your fault, and obviously, people hitting you and hurting you is not your fault. Abuse oh is not your God. fault. But what if we ah! change the world? 
you guys by changing how we talk in our comment section. Okay, Mad's dogs are back. Okay, so now I'm gonna go get ready for the day. Sam and Gabby are gonna go to the barn and give Chino his medication, and then, yeah, we're gonna, it's gonna be crazy, you guys. All right, we're here at the barn to fix Chino's mess. <laughs> fix all the problems that he has, yeah. So we're here at the barn. So it slipped all the way down. Is it all wet? Soaked? I just leave the other one. Oh yeah, it did slip on the way down. So it slipped down today. We didn't do a good enough, tight enough job. We gotta do a better job. Hey Chino, gave Chino his medicine. Took it like a champ. Hey boy. Took your medicine like a champ. And we're soaking this foot. Soaking it for 15 minutes or so. It's like you're getting um, pampered today. It's like you're going to a spa, but you're not getting a massage though. How's that all wet? You can't feel because, oh, it's soaked. Oh, it's warm though. Yeah, it's pretty warm. It's warm, but soaked. I can't tell. Other than that side compared to that side? But if oh, I go you... this way, it looks swollen, man. Yeah, just. It's not okay. as swollen See as yesterday. See how thin that one is? Look how thick that is. I know. Is. It's not as swollen as yesterday, but like, it's still pretty swollen. It's pretty swollen to me. The whole leg. Look at the whole leg is swollen. Look at the difference between the legs. One is thick, one is thin. It's terrible being sick, isn't it, Chino, buddy? Hey? Eh? Terrible. Can't play it with your friends. You're gonna stay in your stall. Just a couple more days, anyways. All right, so we took the, we're gonna take the bandages home and wash them. So for now, we just use Saran Wrap. There, hopefully, it'll be good for now until we come back this afternoon. All right, we're done. We got a messy locker. Can't a messy that. locker. And we're done. And then we'll be back in a couple hours. Gabby said that Chino was moving in the front of his feet so much better than he has since we took the shoes off. So that has to be the butte, which means that he has to have pain. I have a new farrier coming next week and we're gonna work on Chino. She also says he's standing on three legs much better, so that's gonna make that a lot easier. So today, Sam and I are headed back to the, to the tax store. Just gonna get some more stuff, more supplies, and then go back to the barn and see how Chino's doing again. Plus, the girls wanna ride today. So I just got out of the tax store, and how I have to shop at the tax store is I have to like, yeah, so I have to, I text the girl that I always deal with there, and I say, okay, this is what I need, and then she tells me what they have, and then we discuss, like, what, what I would like, and if I don't know what I want, um, then she shows me what they have, she sends me pictures, and then basically I shop through them, and then when I get there, it's all waiting at the door for me, and I just have to pay. It works really good, or I can e-transfer them. But anyways, I end up getting this. It's called Kevin Bacon's Poultice. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so it's just basically like a clay. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a gooey, it's not even glue, gooey. I thought it would be way gooier. It's a clay, so you just rub it on them and it's apparently like good for everything. Like even people use this stuff. Fiona says it's really hard to use and I think it is gonna be hard to use. A friend sent me a brand that she uses and it's a really, she said it's a really, really good brand. She said when my horse has like a bad hip, she's got like, like a backache, anything, like any kind of injury, you can put this stuff on and it just takes care of it. And so I want to get her brand, but I can't get it here. So I'm gonna try and order order a different brand. Like I said before, um, Gabby doesn't like to wrap one leg without the other to keep them balanced. So I got more standing wraps. These ones are totally different than the ones that we got before. Anyway, we're gonna try them. These are big, a bit bigger. They're for the back legs because the ones that we have right now are for the front legs. I got a couple bags of treats because I want to take a course. I found a course that I'm probably going to take, which I'll bring you guys along to work with Penny. I think that you guys will really love this course, and it's exactly what I need. I'm just trying to figure out how to sign up for it. Um, I got more standing wrap uh, wraps. So basically, these are the things that we use to keep the cottons on. We have a navy blue one. They had. Uh, fluorescent pink ones. Gabby said get the pink ones. Then I got a bunch of that wrap. I got the, all the same color again. This time I got a bunch of pink just because we have to bind the top of his leg too and um, the, the, the standing wraps don't wrap all the way around the top leg because his leg is so big. But anyway, yeah, that's it. That's my 
22nd of January TAC haul. Comment below if you guys end up going to the tax store to get medications and things that you need more than one time a month. And that always happens to us, it drives me crazy. I always think I'm done there for a month and then I end up having to go back. Things that we have to put in his mouth, he won't eat food. Really? He won't eat the treats that I give him. Because he thinks you know. it's going to be bad? Yeah, come here. Dad was shoving it in right here. See that line? That was <gasps> the, some of the antibiotics. So he was shoving it in right there. I'm like, that's not even the corner of his mouth. So he was like shoving it outside of his mouth? No, he was trying to put it uh, in his handsome. mouth by shoving it. Like, okay, well right. that look, there is no mouth. that's an alert horse right there, you guys. Yeah, his uh, rap's doing pretty good. Just, yeah, Gabby's yeah. a pro rapper. She's a pro rapper. All right, so um, the standing wraps, we couldn't use it. We couldn't put them on, so we had to put the saran on. Because they were soaked, which you told us, so I had to buy new ones, like I told you. Okay, so let's go ride, and then we'll be back and treat you, okay? You we're going to give them more medicine by the time yeah, we're finished. Definitely seems better, though. Oh, hello, happy boy. Taking care of a sick horse is rough business. Like, it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, it looks like the kids are going for the long walk. I love it. I'm going with them. So last night I joined like, um, uh, I don't know what you call it, but thinking about signing up for a clinic, it's an online clinic. Basically you watch the videos every other week and then you have a week to work on the things that it tells you. And it's really expensive though. It's like $349 just to do this online thing. And I don't know if I can justify that. Like, I don't know how easy it will be for me, for me to watch the videos and then go and recreate the thing with my horse. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm worried about. I don't want to spend that much money on something that's not tangible, like something that I'm not able to really get something for, get from. Have any of you guys done any online courses that have been successful for you? Um, there's a horse that's in the other field and the last couple of times we've come, he's been in this field. Well. When? But then we come again and he's back in his other field. We think he's jumping the fence. And now he's in this field because his brother was annoying him, like not letting him go. Yeah, he fights with he fights with his other with the other horses. No, he doesn't. They play fight. Yeah. They're so rough. I'm surprised he Hi. doesn't have <laughs> Whoa! Gabby! Gabby! You. you just Gabby. walked him into us! No, I walked around. He went. No, it was his bum that got us. Oh well I saw his head go. Somehow I just <laughs> down the Yeah, like when you're walking your horse when you're walking your horse, Gabby, you have to he like always finds a way to push you. No, so he doesn't. He, you always he find a way to push. Right here, he's like Look, he just walked far from you. Right. Chino, your friends are here. Happy boy. Sophie's wearing her Team Finn shirt and her blue riding pants. Navy. Navy. And Gabby's got on her shirt too, her Team uh, Day by Day vlogs. Gabby's hoodie has all the horses on it. So in the past, we've been told to layer our blankets and I always thought that was dumb. So then I ended up buying like our horses all, look at that blanket underneath, it's way back there. So I then, that's what it does. So then I ended up buying like our horses a bunch of different blankets instead of layering them. And now I like layering them better. You know those sometimes when you can't sleep because you think someone's gonna come in and um, stitch your pants to your leg? No, no, don't know those days. I do. Is that what you dreamed last night? No, but it's like, Sylvie's going through that time right now where she has like, where she can't shut off her brain and she starts thinking all these crazy you things. Black blanket. Oh, I'm gonna get a drink. When no, she starts. I'm gonna get shocked, so you're gonna take it off. No, you take it off. You get shocked. No. Yeah. See, my kids are like. If you anything. Made it, you made it late, you're doing it. No, you do it. Okay. Don't be tough, mamas. She's afraid of getting shocked. All right. There's a problem with Finn. See, look a little extra fat right now. Holy. He's always fat. Thin. Well, I'm, I'm just walking in and he looks like a draft horse. I'm looking at him and I'm like, wait a minute. Is this really our horse? Like, doesn't he look like a, well, not maybe a draft horse, but look at his bum is so big. Uh, his butt's already big. He's a quarter pony. Oh his my goodness. Thin. We're going to have to cut you down, cut you back. You have to stop eating so much, okay? appreciate that my helmet went on first try like I did my hair up first try and it didn't 
So it is January, Finn, now. Everybody takes time off the food to get back to feeling normal. You need to take time off the food, dude. No wonder he's been looking cuter lately. He's fuller. He's fatter. He's fatter. <gasps> Look at that. Don't you find that once the really, really cold winter comes that your horse loses a little bit of weight, so it gets better, their weight gets better. We just need a big cold snap. All right, so I don't see any poop. There was no poop yesterday. He's not pooping a lot, you guys. I don't know if there was any poop. I don't know if there's any poop um, this morning or not. I'm a bit nervous about that. I have a bunch of electrolytes at home, so I'm gonna bring that and give him that. I noticed he drank half a bottle, of, uh, half a bucket of water today. Chino, you gotta poop, dude. That's another problem. Medication sometimes makes them not poop and that's like another big problem a constipated horse is not a happy horse and not a happy horse is not a happy bank account so the ride is over the ride is over and i'm standing here trying to do some some emails to people and all of a sudden i'm surrounded by horses this is where they come this is this is i'm the tribe leader you guys i'm i am nope we just want to talk to you yeah they just want to talk to me I love sharing horses with each other. My horse is loving life. See, loving I, life. He is loving life. If I had that storm, I would try to make it. <laughs> well, you have to learn to make him go that way. That's all. That's all it is. On. Yeah, I can't do it unless I have spurs. Well, that's because you're young and you're not experienced enough yet. No. Although Brandon rubbed all the hair off of his legs trying to get him to go the first time he rode him without spurs. Oh, okay, okay, so. We got electrolytes, we got antibiotics, and then I'm gonna give, and then I'm gonna give the butte. And this might be the last day that I give the butte because I'm seriously, oh look at those ears. I'm seriously worried about the pooping. So he did actually poop. Where's the poop? There you go, there's some. Wow. Where is the poop? Where is the poop? I don't know. Oh no. Oh, it's right there, he buried it. Oh, was it a lot? I don't know, I didn't look. There's poop, Mom. One more. One more. And then we're gonna have to get him more water. Because oh. that's gonna really make him thirsty. He needs to drink it. There you go, now. He needs to get it. Right he opened his that, mouth. That just flew. Is that the one Dad tried to do? Can you not run out the door? Yeah, this is the one Dad tried to do. I know. We don't like it either. Both hands just like... Hey, stop it. Remember the very first time we ever tried to give medicine before? Do you guys remember? Oh, yeah, God. it was... What did we do with it? It was electrolyte paste. You just shot it. No, I put it on an apple. I tried to get that to eat the apple. Uh, it did not eat it. No, it was half an apple. Yes. You know what? Uh -oh. you Oops. You know what you need to do? What? You need to cut an apple in half, cut a hole. Bunch of bad taste. Cut Which a hole in half of the out. apple, like and then medicine? put it back together, and then try and get one. Oh, all right. Sophie, come hold, hold Chino's tail. Tie it. Can you tie it in a knot? No. <laughs> the coveted tail, you guys. All right. So where are the new the new um, wraps? Wraps. Not the wraps, where are the new cottons? Oh, okay, well we gotta go get it. Okay, so basically, his leg is looking a whole heck of a lot better. I cannot grab it. I can still see the swelling. It's hard to see in this dark stall. I can still see it. Like that's inflated? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot around there. And even up here. But down there is doing better, yeah, so. Yeah, we're doing it. So I'm worried about the pooping. Yeah, I do see a tiny bit of pooping. It's gonna be a problem. So I gave him some electrolytes. Don't you know that you're